Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Velichet Sandeep. Today I am going to talk about DICOM data. DICOM stands for Digital Imaging Communication in Medicine. That's a, a, this is an acronym or short form is DICOM. So we have two types of uh, notes. Uh, we need to know how to know the technical data behind this. So let us see one example. I am showing this in an Apple platform. So this is applicable for both Horos as well as Osrix. Both use more or less similar platforms. Let's see one example. So let's take one image. So each and every image has a hidden DICOM data. Here for example, if you see here, there is a image size and window width and window length which, you, which are adjustable. The zoom percentage is available. Suppose if you increase the zoom, so you can see, you, you, you should know 100% so you can minimize and you can maximize. Image number, this is uncompressed data, this is patient uh, um, hospital number whatsoever. This is the sequence. These are the important parameters you need to know. TR is uh, the 3135 T is this one, date of acquisition, time of acquisition. So whichever uh, um, company you have taken uh, based on the viewer, it comes like uh, uh, Osirix or Horos. These are very user friendly platforms um, which are compatible with the Apple. So once you take this image, so you want to know further uh, uh, details about this image. Those may include image matrix, what resolution this image uh, exactly acquisition uh, matrix or viewing matrix, display matrix, what matrix this has been taken and viewing. The things which gets displayed is uh, software manufacturer decides before, but you might uh, require to know more data sometimes. This is taken with uh, cervical spine, dorsal spine coil elements in a phased direct coil. So you have to know those matrix size, acquisition time, whether parallel imaging is uh, used, whether sense encoding uh, um, uh, applied or not, acquisition time, whether it is taking too fast, it, is, uh, it has been taken with very slow parameters, number of excitation, all this information is not available here. So irrespective of the uh, mission, uh, the the image has some data you, whether you take with uh, one European mission or American mission the data is pretty much similar behind the image the data encoding everything has been done into this DICOM format that is unique about this our medical images are our radiological images especially are formatted in this so that it has uniform data acquisition display properties across the different vendors so go, how to know the uh, parameters or uh, other uh, things beyond this displayed properties in this image if you would like to see. So go to the 2D viewer and display DICOM and uh, overlays and uh, just before the dis uh, DICOM overlays, DICOM metadata, press the DICOM data, only this switch is enough, not the other one is required. So this whole lot of uh, data image details are available in this. You can see this one, DICOM object. So image type, what type of image we are uh, uh, taking? What is modality, MRI? What uh, Every image contains this data behind. It, it's, it's like data, metadata. This is, a, uh, that is image data, this is metadata analysis. Manufacturer, site center, which center you have taken. So patient name, patient details, which coil has been used which sequence has been uh, uh, taken, the radiology, the mission vendor name, everything gets displayed. And uh, further uh, details also available, like which coil this has been, uh, which part, which type of sequence this is, spin echo sequence, 2D or 3D, this is equation type is 2D. What is the echo time? What is the slice thickness? 3 millimeter slice thickness. What is the repetition time? This is the TR. This is TE which are already displayed in the image itself. So echo number, this is uh, if it is dual, the number will be get displayed here. The, the magnetic field strength, which mission this has been taken, you can analyze. 
spacing between the slices interslice thickness 3.3 number of phase encoding steps 335 number of frequency encoding steps also gets uh, displayed pixel bandwidth you can see the uh, uh, bandwidth which is display bandwidth mostly here so um, protocol this is the protocol which is selected by the technician body coil the receiver coil is multi coil which is spine coil multi uh, phase array coil with selection of the specific elements the transmit coil the uh, uh, sending uh, is from the mission main body coil and receiving is the spine coil sometimes it is receiver only coil sometimes transmit and receiver coil so you will get all those uh, uh, information here display matrix acquisition matrix this is acquisition matrix there are two values 464 335 you can know all these things with this flip angle uh, this is spin echo that's why the flip angle is 90 degrees specific absorption rate important especially in long examination in some countries you need to make a note of the SIR value at the end of uh, session so a patient tomorrow limit for this one the same as decibels how much noise has been received by the patient is also recorded as far as this particular sequence is concerned so patient position excuse me yeah patient position head first for feet first all those details without even seeing the how the patient in the gantry you can know from remotely maybe in another country while doing teleradiology you, know, you can know all these uh, things fast spin echo multi spin echo this is a, a taken multi spin echo whether it is worked with multi spin echo or not phase contrast no time of light no so what are the things are none none will come usually later it's arranged by this uh, uh, see, suppose you want to know specific information this is 14 pages data if you copy and paste uh, but it is so much impractical to see all this data for any patient even if you want to see something specific then you use this search it comes as a bold like you want to see any so you come to this one even case space filling data method has been displayed parallel imaging techniques two parallel reduction fact factor how much factor has been used two what is the acquisition time that is 94 seconds it displays in second parallel acquisition has been used yes parallel acquisition technique what technique is sensor uh, uh, hybrid one or uh, sense encoding m sense whatsoever you can see exactly the uh, technique name there and including the factor of speed factor also so all this uh, data is handy you might require why do you require all this data uh, when uh, we we just need to report right most of the times but uh, you might read some no mr physics in a practice you can see image scan optimization you can do very well with this so suppose if you are working remotely if that scan they are doing too long time or if they are doing too fast or some sequences they are kept very fast you want to alter the field of view because there are over sampling all these things remotely you can monitor from your uh, gantry you, uh, without going to the gantry from your computer you can see or remotely you can see and advise accordingly uh, remote setup and correction and uh, if you if you know all these things uh, the, this is ex exactly the practical physics physics we read so much uh, but application level we if we don't know how to apply on the patient uh, it becomes useless most of the times our technician may not be that familiar with these all these things once you start to see, it will become easy the image uh, logistics and practical points of mrfi physics thank you very much